afternoon, everyone. This is Ali. Thanks for tuning in. So we got some breaking news right now. And this is slightly unfortunate. Obviously, a lot of you know Kamath, and uh, he's someone that we do look up to as investors. Now, the bad news today is we have a pretty damning and pretty scary report coming from Hindenburg. And for those of you that are not familiar with Hindenburg, is they're basically a short-selling firm that publishes reports. And the report that they published today is actually pretty scary. And some of the things that they are alleging are of concern. And it has to do with one of Kamath's SPACs called Clover Health. Let's take a deeper dive as to what's happening right now and the SPAC involved and how the investors could be impacted by this. So let's go right into some of the uh, first emerging details that we have. We got this from CNBC. As you can see here, Clover Health shares fall on critical report by short seller Hindenburg Research. And as you guys can see, the stock has reacted quite negatively to this news. We are down around 11.68% as of this current moment. I do believe that the stock could potentially drop even further, uh, but this is quite a significant drop. As you guys can see, even if we go out to the three month, uh, the stock has dropped quite significantly today. And for obvious reasons, these reports are pretty concerning. As you can see here, it dropped and the low of the day was around 11.86%. Let's go into detail about what exactly that Hindenburg is alleging just to give you some insight as to what's happening exactly with the stock and going forward what we can expect too. So I will be posting this below in the link so you have the exact information and the exact evidence as well. None of this is speculation. None of this is my opinion. This is exactly from Clover from the Hindenburg research facilities. So let's go right into it. Now Clover Health, how the king of SPACs lured retail investors into a broken business facing an active undisclosed uh, DOJ investigation. The DOJ is the Department of Justice and the king of SPACs is Kamath and we all know Kamath very well and we appreciate him too. I'm not going to go through the whole article but there's a lot of evidence here, there's a lot of information and all of it seems to be backed up by credible reports and credible people so this could be, again, this could be very concerning so keep an eye out for this. Go through the whole article with an open mind even if you are an you know, an investor in this company, really be patient and go through the, the report and see if there are some red flags there. Based on what I'm seeing, there are a lot of things to be concerned about here. Uh, but again, you go through it and you make that claim for yourself. Now, the ticker symbol for this stock is CLOV and it is trading on the NASDAQ. So today, we reveal how Clover Health and its Wall Street celebrity promoter, Kamath, misled investors about critical aspects of Clover's business in the run-up to the company's SPAC Go public transaction last month. Our investigation to Clover Health has spanned almost four months and has included more than a dozen interviews with former employees, competitors, and industry experts, dozens of calls to doctor's offices, and a review of thousands of pages of government reports, insurance filings, regulatory filings, and the company's marketing materials. Critically, Clover has not disclosed that its business model and its software offering, called the Clover Assistant, are under active investigation by the Department of Justice, which is, invest which is investigating at least 12 issues, ranging from kickbacks to marketing practices to undisclosed third-party deals, according to a civil investigative demand we obtained. Now, it's really, uh, it's very common for the DOJ to investigate new companies. This is honestly normal practice. It's part of really filtering out the companies that are obvious scams from companies that are a bit more legit. So even though there is an active investigation, this is not necessarily uh, something to be concerned about. But let's go a bit more into detail about what's going on here. Now, the civil investigative demand and the corresponding investigation present a potential existential risk for a company that derives almost all of its revenue from Medicare, a government payer. Our research indicates that the investigation has merit. Now, keep in mind, take this with a grain of salt. This is a, uh, a shorting company, um, so take this with a grain of salt for all these reasons. Clover claims that its best-in-class technology fuels its sales growth. We found that much of, the, of Clover's sales are driven by a major undisclosed related party deal and misleading marketing targeting the elderly. These practices should not come as a surprise given that in 2016, Clover was fined for misleading marketing practices by the Centers of Medicare and Medicaid Services. The fine was issued after Clover's repeated failure to amend misleading statements about its plan offering. A former employee told us that the fine was so small it just emboldened Clover to push the envelope further. Interesting. Clover has a thinly disclosed subsidiary called Seek Insurance. Seek makes no mention of its relationship with Clover on its website, yet misleadingly advertises to seniors that it's offering independent and unbiased advice on selecting Medicare plans. It claims we, do, we don't work for insurance companies, we work for you, despite literally being owned by Clover, an insurance company. Its activities are also under investigation by the DOJ. 
um, again, this is really not uh, not out of the ordinary. Companies do this all the time. If you don't have to disclose certain things, a lot of companies won't because that's obviously going to give them an advantage. It's kind of like a car company telling you, like, you know what, like we don't actually care about selling you a car. We just want to make a profit. I mean, obviously that is the purpose of the business, but really being that blunt about it is probably not going to be the best for you attracting customers. So sometimes uh, not being completely transparent, especially if you don't have to, could actually work in your favor for obvious reasons. Now, in a CNBC interview announcing the Clover transaction, Kamat proclaimed, unprompted, they create transparency, they don't motivate doctors to upcode or do all kinds of things to get paid. A former employee explained to us that the DOJ is specifically asking about upcoding or the practice of overbilling Medicare. So that's kind of an issue, okay? Now, multiple former employees explain that Clo Clover software is primarily a tool to help the company increase coding reimbursements. We provide details on how that software captures and retains irrelevant diagnoses, which we believe deceives the healthcare system and possesses a significant regulatory risk. This happens all the time with insurance companies, uh, with the automotive business, with life insurance policies. This is, again, this is really not anything new. Um, yeah, like this happens all the time, guys, and it's a really easy way for companies to take advantage of reimbursements. It's just how the business goes. It's definitely corrupt and it's horrible, uh, but again, this is not new news. This is something that a lot of us know about these businesses. Now, let's go into, uh, basically, the rest of the article is gonna detail all the evidence and all the proof that they have to their claims. But what I do wanna mention that even though they are very critical of this SPAC, they do start off by somewhat of a, uh, not a very harsh way of presenting Kamat. They actually say that they agree with him on a lot of his opinions on Wall Street and how business is done. So right here they say, Kamat has expressed views we wholeheartedly agree with. Wall Street is a corrupt cesspool. Okay, we know that already. When things go south, bankers and executives cry for bailouts and regulation to stack the deck. We know that already, and people should not be censored. Okay, so that is very, very interesting. Now, Clover is under active investigation by the Department of Justice, an existential risk that has not been disclosed to investors. And they go on to details, and again, this is going to keep on going. Part one of their investigation includes deceptive sales practices. Uh, Kamath even mentioned best in class technology is why Clover consistently and repeatedly grabs 50% of every new available member every year. But their research is actually saying that much of Clover's sales seems to be fueled by misleading marketing to the elderly and a major undisclosed, undisclosed related party deal with Clover's head of sales. Some of the, arrange, some of the arrangements are already the subject of a DOJ uh, investigation. And it goes through all the information there as well. Uh, so a lot of this is very alarming, guys. I would go through it in detail. If you are a shareholder, um, based on what you think of a lot of this information, you could potentially be buying the dip or you could be someone that just bails out of this company completely. Uh, from the looks of it, the stock right now is down at 10.8%. If you go through basically the complete history of the company, let's see if we can go back a bit. You know, I think the worst case scenario for the stock, just based on the technical analysis, the least that it could go to is around 10-ish. That seems to be the support level at this point. So worst case scenario, it could go down to that point. Best case scenario, people might brush off this short seller uh, investigation and the stock will just continue to go upwards. Really take your time, go through the article, I will link it below, and then you can make uh, a knowledge and uh, intelligent opinion on this. But anyways guys, I just wanted to break this to you right now. The stock market is looking pretty good today. Thank God it's not a, uh, a sell-off day because I believe the impact on Clover could have been much, much greater. But so far, I think it's holding up, it's not dropping anymore but it's really hard to tell, guys. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed and have an awesome day. Bye-bye.